Pisces. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. That's far too many. Venus signs. Welcome to another Pisces Tarot reading. Pisces love tarot reading. Pisces love reading. And as is pretty much always the case, here at the Tarot Closet, Pisces love messages, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Let's take a look at the energy coming in, Pisces. It's the Five of Swords. Oh, and the King of Swords. Interesting. Five of Swords is presenting in reverse Venus and Aquarius energy coming here with our King of Swords, Gemini and Mercury. Somebody wants to communicate, and I, I want to tell you this is somebody who wants to make some peace. So there's an apology here after, well, something's showing. After you could say, yeah, look at that, Five of Cups in reverse right below it. That's what this is. It's literally asking for forgiveness. It's somebody coming back in here to communicate an apology. There was some discord, perhaps some things that were said this person should not have said that they clearly regret saying and want to apologize for. They've been kind of, I don't know, why is cocky coming in? <laughs> it's not going to be really specific for somebody. That's just not even a word I really use. But just in your deck today, it's somebody who's been holding on to that apology. Just look at kind of how they are here. In this uh, artwork today, there's just a... Yeah, this is somebody who has been in some pride, probably pride and ego, you could say. I don't know about fear so much as I feel like somebody's been, cocky is the word that came through. It is just not a word that I really use. There's just has been, there has been some pride around it. It's somebody who, there's been like a struggle about who's going to apologize or maybe first, who's going to come forward first. This is, this person is doing that. They need to make peace. Something went on here in the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius, around obviously matters of the heart. And yeah, I mean, again, it's coming in reverse here. It's somebody who, who needs to make this apology. They need to make this first move. They've been thinking about it. They might be kind of strategic about it, but this is very intentional. This is somebody who has been holding on to that, who's coming in here to make an apology. Is there something more? And what are some of the specifics? You know, maybe they come through, maybe they don't. A lot of this, I'm sure you know, but let's see. Let's see what is coming through today. Pisces, this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. It's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. If you want to dive into any cross-watching, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign watching. You know, everybody has their own specific particular readings they like. You can find all your Zodiac readings, Pisces, and all 12 Zodiac readings below in the description of today's video. Also here at the Tarot Closet on the Playlist tab. You will also find all signs tarot. The <laughs> Something's wanting to come off. These are collective love readings, love readings for the collective. If you're looking for specific readings around your Twin Flame journey, should you be on a Twin Flame journey, you can find Twin Flame readings as well and a lot more. So feel free to explore. In the meantime, let's take a look at feelings, their feelings for you, what's on their mind, yours, maybe what you don't see coming, what you need to hear, a move that's being made. Let's check it out. The Page of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who has been holding on to this apology, to this truth. They're watching, they're planning. This is somebody who needs to, wants to apologize. Here's the thing, the Five of Pentacles. This Mercury and Taurus energy, it's a validation for me of the lack of communication, the lack of the truth, the lack of the apology, what this person is holding on to. There is a little bit of worry here. It is presenting to me in a reversal energy of somebody coming back in. What are they coming back in to recover? I feel like trust. They're coming into, well, yeah, hope for 
and a, like forgiveness. Will they get forgiveness? That's just really strong. So this is presenting, as you can see, it's like not upright. It's not in reverse. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is where they're heading. They're heading into the Eight of Swords in reverse, which is getting out of the no contact, the truth, everything they've been holding in. This is where they put themselves, Jupiter and Gemini energy. Could be around a lot of things that stop things from moving or communication from happening. It's Jupiter energy, and that's expansive and prosperous, you know? You're ruling planet, actually, Pisces, as well as Sagittarius. So things not moving forward, truth hasn't been here. It Again, it presented like a sideway energy for me. That's almost what I would call a spinner. It, it has been here. This is where they put themselves. It's the lack of communication we see them coming back in here. Again, it's coming to this. So we're going to keep it here in reverse. And that's really where I feel like the energy is heading, you could say. If you, if this is someone you shared a dwelling with, or you can see each other, and there's like a returning kind of to a home energy that is here. I don't think that's for everybody. But yeah, I would be remiss if I didn't mention it. Just bringing through... Sometimes some really specific messages, you know, so always take those um, where they are yours and where they are not, you know, let go of what isn't because, I don't know, I'm kind of liking it to like people lining up. Sometimes the energy today, for example, Aquarius, if you watch Aquarius, that was intense. That was like people... Ah, oh, the energy was like lining up to come in here. And I um, it got so intense that my camera, literally the memory card just failed <laughs> when I was uh, doing the thumbnail. It was just really um, in the entire reading. So let's see. This is a similar energy. What's going on? I don't think it is. But there is definitely a very necessary apology here that this person has been holding on to for too long. I'm hearing that word cocky again. Okay. Again, <laughs> it's a super specific. Thank you for being here and watching Pisces. Thank you for liking today's video, sharing. If you're feeling inspired to do so, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. What else is coming through? Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels and Ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see for Pisces. Uh -oh. The Two of Cups. Well, well, Pisces. Yeah, <laughs> this is, it's a sincere apology. It might be something a little bit more as well. It's right here in the partnership placement. I wanted to put it in the overall energy and I'm hearing that it doesn't go there. So something else is going there. This is right here where you both are. You still love each other. There's still feelings here. You're waiting for this person to make this apology. There's an apology in that cup. Is there more Venus and Cancer energy? The feeling still between you, still loving each other. There is healing energy here in this Two of Cups, this decision, this person literally working on getting out of the no contact energy, the truth and the apology they've been holding on to. So that's really, really clear for me. Could there be more? There can be things like proposals, big ones like marriage. But, you know, also proposals can be around let's talk, let's get together. Maybe there's another level in this connection. It's super early to tell, although I feel like, oh, yeah, you probably know. There is, oh, yeah. So it's the tower in reverse. I don't love <laughs> the tower. And, you know, but it's what it is. And I don't dislike it either because it's telling us that, yeah, something went on here. And this is a reversal energy. And it's definitely somebody who's literally been afraid to apologize. When you get out of the tower energy, you go into the star energy, Aquarius and Uranus energy. And that's a really healing energy. It's what I'm feeling that I'm feeling that energy here coming in with the apology. There's an apology here. And this is why. So what happened in this tower energy? Was somebody not being honest? I feel like it. We could even be looking at not being honest around next level. So were you planning to move further along in your connection? 
Did you have bigger plans? Did something fall apart? Were they not being honest about something? This is sort of like the after effect for me, the after whatever happened. And this person's just been afraid. And they've been, again, that word, <laughs> let's just say pride and ego to make the apology. So that is something that is definitely here. Ten of Wands coming in reverse the sun. I think it might be what's wanting to go here. We'll see. Sometimes cards like to travel around and deliver other messages. The Ten of Wands, look at this in reverse where their energy is really strong. Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. Again, your ruling planet, but a Jupiter energy. It's like too much. It's too long now. This person doesn't want to hold on to the apology anymore and you don't want to wait for it. And is there something more? This is somebody who wants to work this out. The sun energy. Leo. Source. God. Goddess. The universe. The divine. You know, that, that energy is going to be really specific to your beliefs. The sun is connected to the solar plexus chakra. I do. Which is very interesting. Here, <laughs> catty corner with our two of cups. We'll see. Could be for some of you. In any case, it's a new cycle. You're getting out of that moon energy, the dark to light, the yin yang energy. Somebody who wants to work this out, who has been holding on to an apology for far too long. And I do feel like there's a lot more here. Our King of Swords is back. Yeah. Look at this. Getting out of, I just got chills. Getting out of the Eight of Swords, definitely working. That's what it's been doing for me. It's been turning, holding themselves back, things not moving forward. So again, if this is something around next level like marriage, it's here on the table, whatever that means for you. It feels like it's way more than an apology, but it's definitely the apology. King of Swords, back, Gemini, and Mercury energy, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, this person is making some plans to come here. They're literally making a decision here. Kind of strategic about it. Wanting to work this out. Again, going into a new cycle in that sun energy. And I got to tell you, when you get out of the sun, you go into judgment. And I do feel that energy, whether we see it or not. This is heading in all of that energy to, to an end of a cycle. I would say to the world card energy, you know, but in that judgment energy, this person just getting, waking up, making the decision to apologize and also being really clear and honest about what else is here on the table, what, what happened, you know? So yeah, we could be looking at the next level kind of energy. Okay, look at this. Seven of Swords here with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords is in the upright. It's connected here with this past energy of the tower for me. This is somebody who definitely was not being honest about something, who definitely ran. Aquarius and Uranus energy. Is there something else that went on? Perhaps. They're looking at it kind of freaked out. Look at just the way our King of Swords is looking. As they hold on to the truth, as they hold on to this apology, this is why. I tell you, there's definitely pride and ego that's been here, but... So whatever happened here, clearly, this person is <laughs> crying uncle, I guess you could say, kind of giving in. Like, they they need to. But their pride has kept them from that. It's a big apology. There's something more for sure. Obviously, you still love each other. There are still feelings here between you. But this apology has to happen in order for things and to get into this new cycle energy, the sun, you know, the potential, our luminary, who's exposing everything, you know, the conscious energy shining on the moon, the subconscious energy, what's been, what's been hidden there? Well, some of it is this person just hasn't wanted to see. They've been kind of in their own illusion, really, around. I don't know if they were right or what the heck it's been, but for me, it's getting out of that. Five of Swords is back, too. Oh, my gosh, Yeah. We saw it in reverse, the apology. It's validating the fear of that, but it's also validating what happened. Things that were said and discord between you, okay? So I feel like 
What it feels like too is that you were maybe confronting this person around some dishonesty, around some lies. Could also be truth by omission, like not saying things. Do you know what I mean? And there was some discord. And this is somebody who has needed to get out of their pride and apologize here. Details, you know, it's obviously around your connection, exactly what they are, I think is really specific to you. <laughs> and the Five of Cups is back. Wow. Yeah, this is somebody who regrets things that were said. Look at this. Things, lies and things that weren't said. Truth by omission. It's still lying. This is somebody who also regrets how it went down, I want to say, and leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because they do. Somebody who definitely ran this Abandon, this pulling away energy is really strong. It does bring in some Eight of Cups energy. That's your energy, Pisces, Saturn and Pisces. But it's also connecting with the Seven of Swords here. Were they running from next level, from marriage? Is this somebody who was afraid? You know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's marriage, but it could be. Were they just running from their feelings because they were overwhelmed? Were they not being honest? Because they are regretting it and they are... There is a message coming through of, I'm sorry for leaving you feeling like I didn't love you because I do. And again, the Five of Cups is also back. It's in the upright. It's still connecting us to that apology coming in. Like they don't want to. This is somebody who wants to get out of either no contact, no communication, and or in separation, or just communicate better should you just be having trouble communicating. That's really clear. And just also looking here at our Five of Swords and our Five of Cups, it's a 55. And that's an energy of things changing. It's, you could say, change is near kind of energy, like a better path is emerging. It's just the next steps have to be taken now. And it does really feel like it needs to be this person. I want to mention that and if you watch me here at the Tarot Closet, or if you don't, I do often talk about Mercury being really strongly connected to reading and writing. And that is the case. So if this is just around SMS messages, text messages, social media, then yeah, that is here. It's a strong validation. But of course, if you normally talk on the phone or voicemails, or you can see this person, you know, there's definitely communication going on here. There is more. Oh, look at that. Wow, yeah, there's more than an apology here, I feel, but there is a very big, sincere, much needed apology that maybe you had given up on, you know? The apology kind of like this energy of the apology you never thought would come. Four of Wands in reverse, Venus and Aries energy. What a, unfortunately, but what a strong validation that there was some discord that somebody may have walked away, somebody may have even moved out, should that be the case? That's literally what is going on here. And it's connected to the Five of Cups. They regret walking away. They regret, in general, the, the connection, leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. Yeah. Like that was playing a really big part, kind of how you got here. Whether you're completely disconnected or there's just some some issues in it. Okay, so this is actually wanting to come in the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, wow, so some things are turning around here. Look what else is here. <laughs> it's the Chariot in Reverse. It's here with the Five of Cups. So this person regrets not moving forward. I want to say with whatever this arguing was around. Some, it, it feels really strongly, Pisces, that it's around marriage, but that's just going to be really specific, you know? So we, we're just looking at, I feel like, next kind of level, like releasing feelings, not lying about them, connections to the commitment, whether it's marriage or going exclusive, admitting feelings, moving in, whatever it is, our chariot in reverse here, Cancer and Moon Energy, Obviously, major arcana energy, which, like our sun here, is connected to the solar plexus chakra I do, and it's the reversal. It's like issues around the movement, around the next level here. 
it's just so clear because that's changing the sun energy and the wheel of fortune it's a turning point things are moving this person is moving toward you there is an apology the two of cups you could say is back on the table yeah the apology i feel like is almost just what need well it, it's not almost it's just what it what it's what needs to happen to even get into any kind of other energy for anything to move in another direction. It's just been clear from the beginning. The Wheel of Fortune, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy, a turning point, a new cycle. When you get out of the Hermit energy, Virgo and Mercury energy, where this person, where I feel like everybody's been actually, it's like the separation energy for me or just not communicating well. But where this person has been, you go to get clarity, personal truth. You get out of there and you go and you turn the wheel of fortune. And here's what I also want to validate is the wheel of fortune is connected to the throat chakra I speak. Look, going over here with our little triangle, the king of swords back, the two of cups. So this is hearing, this is what you've been wanting to hear from this person. Like finally, obviously delays, things not coming around the relationship, but also the, the apology and just hearing from them, communicating. So that is coming in here. There is, yeah, there is, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is always turning, you know. One day you're up, one day you're not. It's connected to Jupiter, which is your ruling planet Pisces and also Sagittarius. And it is the planet of prosperity and expansion. A, hope, a very hopeful energy and also luck. I, I always think of that as timing. So a timing energy here. Something is, hearing from this person is imminent, I feel, if it hasn't already happened. This conversation will change some things. It really is, This there's a lot of energies coming through. Like you love each other, you need to talk. Things need to be said. Things need to be owned. Things need to be resolved. Yeah, and whatever wasn't moving before is moving again, including literally this person toward you, which could force some of you, not everybody, also be in person. You know, it's not going to be for everybody. The Ten of Swords what just wanted to show itself, and I just want to show you what else is coming through. Okay. Wow. This is how it is. So... <laughs> This is how it is. And we're going to look at that too. Knight of Swords. It's the last tarot I feel that I'm taking coming in. Libra and Mercury energy. Yeah, they have a lot of explaining to do. Look at this right here with our King of Swords. And oh gosh, just this deck today. I want to talk. I want to contact you. I want to work this out, but I'm a big chicken. Yeah. And what what is the word when a chicken is, what is the other word for a rooster? I'm not going to say it. But I will say what's been coming through a lot in this reading today, <laughs> it's just one of those readings, is that this person has been kind of cocky, right? And that's a connection to, you could say some pride, some ego, somebody who's just been like, no, I'm right. You know what I mean? I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? But that energy does come through. I want to contact you. I wanted this and that, but I'm a big chicken kind of energy, that is here. There's a validation of that with judgment in reverse. There's a validation of that with the strength card. Leo energy source. Literally here, getting the courage to, to come and make this apology. And I feel like way more than an apology, but to get some humility here, you know, because it's somebody who has a lot of explaining to do, who has a lot to say, and it's going to change some things, but they need to get a a move on and I was going to say something else before that but I won't strength card is connected to the heart chakra yeah there's a really intense chemistry I feel like between you Pisces that sometimes can be really overwhelming for some of you you were waiting for something more like you wanted more or it was going to be more and obviously this person has been in fear and they're made bad decisions held some things back a lot of it there's a lot of things that went on here it's not for everybody. I feel like that you were waiting for something maybe that was even more physical to get more serious, but that is here. 
Okay, that, that is definitely here. Again, we could be looking at then going to the next level, going exclusive, moving in, marriage, whatever, okay? But it is here that they are definitely getting over their pride and getting over their ego to come here because they have been afraid. Look here, that there is an apology here in judgment. There's clarity. This person has been here. Again, we talked about feeling the judgment energy and then going all the way to the world card. So clearly they're stuck between the sun and the world card and judgment in reverse. You know, and this is somebody who's just kind of afraid they made a bad decision, maybe even more than one bad decision. And this is afraid to make another decision, which we see, which is both connected to the apology, but also something about this other level that maybe has them afraid of marriage, next level what, you know? Sharing feelings because it's been coming through really strong that this person actually knows they owe you an apology and they, they have regret for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. There's just some fear around the change in that. So it could be looking at the commitment energy, you know, or just fear of literally being judged and having to, to admit they were wrong. Get out of this cocky energy and make this apology. Be the first one because they kind of, I don't know, I'm not, it's not for me to say who's right or wrong or who did this or that more, <laughs> but somehow it feels like they need to make that move. This is Archangel Gabriel. Connected to the sacral chakra, I feel, and the third eye chakra, I see the self-awareness. Kind of screaming it out to this person, you know, get some clarity, make a decision, make a final decision already. What do you want? Wake up. Lover from the past, how far back does this go? For some of you far, for some of you not so far, but make a decision, apologize, air, air things out. What do you want to do? Because you're leaving Pisces hanging and Pisces might not be waiting for much longer if you in fact are and because look there's also this energy here in the seven of wands this upright energy mars and leo of being kind of defensive not wanting to be hurt and by the way i'm here also holding on to the high priestess another energy make this decision which i feel they are reveal the truth reveal the apology reveal how you really feel because it's the only way here. And that's also for you, of course. The intuitive energy of the high priestess, divine energy, divine feminine energy, decision, and the path that you want to take, trusting your intuition, trusting your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels because there's, there's, a, there's like fear around everything here. For this person, their energy, there's a different energy of why they're afraid. You know, it's something around the commitment, of course, just some ego around the apology. For you, perhaps it's, yeah, well, I don't want to be hurt again. I, I want to be sure that this is what you want. I mean, yeah. It's wanting to go right here, actually. <laughs> right in between the energy of the King of Swords and the Two of Cups of what they're coming in here with, which could be really big again. And it's, they might, they're going to hit, <laughs> I caught the camera just in time. You didn't miss anything. So I picked up the Six of Swords in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. Mercury and Aquarius energy. Three of Cups. Mercury and Cancer energy. A validation, perhaps, of some conversation that didn't go well, whether it was on the phone and messages in person. Okay, and again, somebody walked away, moved out, whatever, hung up the phone. But it's also just a validation that things have been delayed. You know, there's a stagnancy in the communication. And here with the Three of Cups, whether it's in person or via message, you know, it could be for some of you that there are other, and look, it's connecting to the past energy here of the Tower too. Yeah, look, the chariot in reverse, the five of swords. It could be that there were other people around or other people involved, and that's something too that just needs to not be the case anymore because this is ultimately it's about the two of you. Yeah, it's bringing in some of that hierophant energy, perhaps, you know, other reasons why something didn't work out. Real specific. Uh, and I do want to 
mention, it's not going to be for everybody, but I'd be remiss if I don't bring in the messages that come in because they're for somebody. I don't always bring them all in, but this is how what the reading is today. If there is somebody who has some kind of vices going on, like let's say connected to cups, okay, and that has been playing a part in this, this could definitely be playing a part in why things didn't move or why this person has been in some kind of fear to both make the apology and to maybe have to change something, okay? Around themselves, around their life. That's not even just around commitment energy. Of course, it could be around other people, but it could just be around behaviors that they need to change. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't think it's for everybody, but it is here. And here we go. The last tarot that I'm looking at and so telling our King of Wands in reverse, trying to get over their pride, over their ego, over their fear to come here and make, quote unquote, this offer. In it, there's truth, there's an apology, but it's also like, do you want to do this or not? They do. What are all the specifics and details? They're different, I feel like, for everybody. There is a strong energy of... Commit, commitment issues around this person for sure. Fear of feelings, fear of next level, but they're literally trying to get the courage in here to come and make this offer for next level. Again, whether it's marriage, going exclusive, moving in. Understandably, you haven't been talking and understandably you're a little defensive, not wanting to be hurt. Things have went on. So yeah, there is an apology here, but this is around the next level. Capricorn, Virgo Taurus energy, it's the Ace of Pentacles. Putting in the time, putting in the effort, the reciprocity, what do you want? You know, what do you want literally here in judgment? There's fear around here. And there also has been, again, some holding on to some pride and ego around admitting they were wrong. This is somebody who's getting over pride, who's getting over ego, who wants this. They're being asked and they're making this decision. High Priestess, Ace of Pentacles, the Sun, Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords. Where are you at? Definitely needing to tap into your energy too. What do you want? What do you need? You know, obviously, aside from this person to be clear and to apologize, there are some details I feel like that definitely need to be worked out here. But here we go. That is just very validating, actually. I'm going to put this here with our coming out of the no contact energy and here with our King of Swords. Connecting here, yeah, with our King of Wands, who has been, who is in some fear, who's a little bit afraid to come here and communicate. They know they really messed up. And yeah, there's something way bigger here, obviously, than just, an, not just, but than an apology that is here. Next level. It's, it's definitely back on the table. Look, the Ace of Pentacles is, con <laughs> these cards are slipping and sliding, is connecting right here with the sun, which is what you need to grow those pentacles. Ten of Swords, the end of this cycle. What happened here? Yeah, connecting with the Ten of Wands in reverse, the fact that things didn't move forward. Also, deducing to a one, giving us here with our Ten of Wands in reverse and our Ten of Swords in Eleven, um, which is a coming together union energy look. Union is here, which is... A master number, decision, new beginnings, coming together. Whether it's to begin with via message and coming physically together later, or it's just union in general coming together, it's here. Union, as you can see. Two people here connected. This is literally what they're getting the courage to do. Look at this. The strength card, union, the two of cups, the wheel of fortune. 
So as you can see, I'm bringing in Oracle, and as you can also see, it just, as readings do, <laughs> has a mind of its own. And today, it's, it is just one of those readings. I'm definitely always the messenger, but it's no more apparent to me than it is today that I'm just bringing out what I need to bring out here. Messenger, look. <laughs> Just the messenger. My guides have a funny sense of humor, but this is also just a really super strong validation. Of course, we could be looking at things like messenger, Facebook messenger, look king of swords, getting the courage, king of wands in reverse to communicate everything that needs to be communicated. Yes, it's an apology, but it's so much more. It's so much more. There's writing, there's it's in the stars energy. Could be for some of you, there's a distance here. <laughs> Getting out of solitude, which is hermit energy for me. Look at this. And they're on, they're on what appears to be a pentacle for me. I mean, it's looking a lot like a pentacle. It's also looking a little bit like a labyrinth but it's connecting here look at this with the wheel of fortune and when you get out of the hermit energy that is literally where you go and the fear you've had which is super clear here king of wands in reverse judgment in reverse but going into the strength card energy so the fear you had getting over that getting over the fear getting over the pride that cocky energy has been here you know i want to contact you but i'm a big chicken i want to do this, but I'm a big chicken, whatever. It's overcoming that. It's getting out of that hermit energy, Virgo and Mercury energy, and spinning this wheel of fortune and very clearly hearing from this person. So again, whether it's coming through a message, and my throat chakra is just going nuts all of a sudden. <laughs> a message, social media, email, in person, phone call, what? Inner vision. This is connecting us to the third eye chakra. I see the self-awareness. It connects us to the high priestess. It connects us to the hermit energy here. It connects us to the moon. <laughs> Look, courage. Yeah, so this is connecting directly with the strength card. It's exactly where we know things are. And what I wanted to say to you in this, this inner vision energy, and excuse my throat chakra because this is just some of the fear that I'm channeling here. We're also connecting to the death card, Scorpio energy. Don't be worried about that because that's this person getting out of the hangman energy, out of the indecision, out of the power struggles, that energy that's been really strong here, indecisive energy. And it's going into a higher vibration, it's paradigm shifts, it's going into the death card and it's getting out of their ego. Second chance energy is really big here. And that's the other thing. Strength card, strong connection, but this is also connecting us to the hangman energy, which is your energy, Pisces. This person getting this perspective, seeing, getting out of here, spinning the wheel of fortune, and ending no contact, no communication, and or in separation. <laughs> Excuse my throat chakra. It's intense. It's just what it is. So we're going to have to write it out together. It's just really, really intense. And that energy connecting us to the hangman here too, that's a divine number, divine timing. Like it's literally time here. It's connecting with the three of cups in reverse. So changes both around their pride and their ego, but other changes again that we talked about that may need to be made here. And it's a validation that it could be, again, not for everybody. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said again. But if it's connected to some kind of vice energy, that's also here. Okay, it's somebody who is afraid of that, who's, that's another thing they're changing. Because that's also connecting with that death card energy. And it really is this energy, this 33 here, it's a master number that anything is possible. Have faith. Look, things are changing faith and change. So it's bringing in the star energy, renewal, hope, clarity, having faith. <laughs> My throat. Also connecting us with the stars aligning kind of energy, but also a healing energy. A lot of healing energy in the star. 
the hopeful energy here of the rainbow that things are different or gonna be different it this is literally what's going on here but this person has to has to make this move it's it just has to happen I, I feel like they're definitely struggling with it but it's coming through really strong and change, I want to say it speaks for itself. And there's a lot of things here. There's the moon, you Pisces, and the moon, of course, ruling the tide, the emotions, the revealing energy, yin yang, subconscious to conscious energy, dark to light, the sun here, which is shining on the moon and revealing everything that's been hidden. There could be literal dwellings involved here. It's connecting to the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Channeled love messages. <laughs> messages from their higher self, which are, have also begun. I just can't sleep because I keep thinking about you. The high priest is here right with the five of cups. This is somebody who's missing you. Who, again, who has regret for feeling, leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because they do. Who regrets their behavior who's trying to get over themselves, get over their pride, their ego, fear to come here and do not just what's right, but it goes beyond that. And yeah, true to the Knight of Swords energy here, this person has a lot to say. They do have some explaining to do. That one just went back in. I am ashamed of the way I handled things. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. Look, four of wands in reverse and judgment. Bad decision, fear, so they walked away or they hung up. Fear possibly again for some of you. It could be around marriage, could be around something else. You know, maybe not marriage, but how they handled it was not good. That's just been really, really clear from the beginning. I want to be honest. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I really want you back in my life. I'm a big chicken here with the Knight of Swords, who what they have to say changes everything. So hurry up, Pisces person. I write messages in my head over and over. Okay, yeah. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Page of Swords, Six of Cups, and all this energy, thinking and writing and... <sighs> Not sending them, maybe some that have been sent. I'm going through an ego death. <laughs> this is just so clear. Just that death energy coming in, Scorpio. You know, it's a validation of that, of getting out of that hangman energy. And that, what I just kept hearing, cocky, you know? Just even here with on, their chick, on the chicken here, the Knight of Swords. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Your reading is just so very clear. Coming in here, trying to come in here in a much higher vibe, Pisces. Out of their ego, change. They're saying they're change, changed, wanting another chance here. I'll make things right. Yeah. I forgive you. Are you sending that for them? I don't... I don't know. Maybe it's something for you that I'm missing out on. Something just wanted to show itself. You know? So it just showed manifest, which does bring in the magician, Gemini and Virgo energy, Mercury energy. Yeah, this person's getting focused. This person is getting out of fear, ego, Shadow clearly turning visions into reality here. Who <laughs> getting the courage to come look union two of cups, the sun. It's just really super clear. Ace of Pentacles. That they're coming in here for more than way more than an way more than an apology. The magician is connected to the solar plexus chakra. I do. <laughs> There's that energy again. But also the throat chakra I speak. Access to all the elements, of course, and the alchemizing energy of that, all the tools, all the resources available, but also coming in with all those resources. So, so being honest, 
opening up, sincere apologies, past energy, current energy, setting things up for the future energy. I'm sorry I lied. It went right over here with I forgive you and messenger. Only you can say if that's where you're at. Everything reminds me of you. Do you still love me? I love you. Pisces, do you still love me? I'm sorry I made you feel like I didn't love you because I do. Thinking of you keeps me awake at night. I just can't sleep because I keep thinking about you. So that's really strong validation. The tarot closet, more channeled love messages. Can you feel my love? Two of Cups, the union. Give me time. I fear you have moved on. Highly likely. Highly possible for some. Part of the fear. Also that's here on this person. You are so beautiful. We will be together again someday. I am afraid to contact you. I am a big chicken. Energy is just so strong here with our Knight of Swords riding the chicken. I really want you back in my life is also there. And that's it. I could listen to your voice all day and night. We could be looking at somebody who uses their voice for a hobby or work, musicians, artists, really just about anything. But, you know, that's also just, I miss your voice. I dream of you, that's Pisces energy. It's connecting us to you, Pisces, and the moon. I don't feel good enough for you. Like, I don't deserve you, but I want you energy. I'm always with you. We belong together. It's going here with union. Two of cups. Can you feel my love? And don't give up on us. I'm sending in a lot. <laughs> we have a deep soul connection. I don't know how to fix this, but I'm trying. I can't just can't sleep because I keep thinking about you is where that went. And I fear you have moved on and I'm ashamed of the way I handled things. Please forgive me. The I forgive you was under there. It's also hidden and it's connecting to messenger. So it could be obviously some upcoming energy here because that's how things go down. <laughs> the tarot closet if you watch my readings uh, a high priestess energy just validating what's already here at the readings but very strong psychic energy I love you I love you do you still love me was right here I'm sorry I ghosted you it's like they're making sure that you hear all this we are destined to be together. That's the Wheel of Fortune energy. Fate. Understanding the connection. Fate. Destiny. Controlling what you can. Letting go of what you can't. I want to be honest. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. You are my other half, Pisces. The Two of Cups here. Soulmate energy. The twin flame energy is here. Do I think it's for everybody? I don't. A lot of people just don't believe in it or care or whatever. You know, if you're here and you're on a twin flame journey, it's that the energy's here. It might mean something a little different. And I just want to remind you to check out the twin flame readings if you are. Okay. I love you to infinity. It's here with manifestation, you know, making it happen. It's like manifesting soulmate energy here. New beginnings, the potential. 
I saw someone who looked like you. In your last channeled love message, message from their higher self, Pisces, I wished on a star tonight. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's connecting with the star energy. Also, the Nine of Cups, which is your energy, Jupiter and Pisces energy. It's going here with I Dream of You. Interesting. A lot of nocturnal energy here, kind of really validating the staying awake at night or waking up at night. I dream of you. I wish to the star tonight. Going, landing on don't give up on us. Okay. Pisces, that's your reading today. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here, watching, liking the video, sharing the video or the channel if you feel inspired to do so, subscribing to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you again. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Pisces.